Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody to FPA daily video. Today guys we again will take a look at the euro currency because um, on Friday when the market has dropped the comments from the uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve. So it, it, it uh, was seemed that everything is, is, is over so this collapse so probably the bearish trend uh, starting and euro should drop somewhere to the bottom to some very low levels. But in reality uh, recent week was moderately successful to us and uh, nothing has lost yet so uh, euro still has uh, bullish patterns and it still keeps it valid. Uh, speaking on the recent week we on, a, on the way up we, we've got the reaching of the two targets that we have specified and both of them uh, were based on this butterfly pattern. So first market has hit 127, second it has hit 1618. But uh, why it was moderately successful? Because market hasn't quite reached the final target. It's 114.11 area that is was based on this A, B, C bottom, D pattern. And the 1618 target stands at 114.11. Last week market uh, wasn't able to touch it despite that it has formed the bullish grabber on, on Thursday but uh, on the yellow speech this grabber has been erased. Still um, it's too early to speak about uh, bearish reversal on the long term chart so that euro should drop to the 1 or 5 area or something of that sort. It's not not the time yet for that. Euro should uh, pass through the another challenge that will uh, bring us uh, the final solution of the overall situation. What the challenge is? Uh, this challenge calls as reverse hand shoulders on the daily chart and this passion also is the part of weekly Gartis triple two buy. So as you can see we have the upward action, ABCD retracement down and upward continuation here. This minor target of this pattern stands approximately at 116 because this is a 618 retracement of the whole upward action. Then minimum target will be 618 extension from this A, B, C bottom. Minor 618 will be around the same top. So 116, 116, 15 area, so somewhere around the top. That's the minor target. Also, Take a look that if market will form here the reverse head and shoulders pattern, it also will have the minor target as the A, B, C bottom, D, so equal A, B equals C, D pattern based on the hand shoulders. It also has the target at the same area, approximately 116. So uh, it means that recent drop that we, we've got on the yellow speech, this is not the obligation yet for bearish trend. This is just a reaction and we need to understand how really traders understand and treat this recent speech. So um, if they treat this uh, speech as the signal for significant strength in the United States dollar, the bullish United States dollar trend which is which will mean that for the euro this will be bearish trend. That's the one story. But if this is just a short term reaction on the speech that was moderately hawkish, although well, my taste so it's approximately the same as I said yesterday in the in the morning. So nothing really new has been said in relation to possible September rate hiking or something of that sort. The yellow just uh, gives more clear signs that rate will follow or hiking of the rate will follow in the current year and I think that mostly this event already was the priced in. That's why uh, the current reaction on the statement 
uh, could be really not not long term. It could be just reaction. So this could be the short term. Uh, and that leads us to conclusion that we should monitor on the coming week what trading plan we have. We, we will monitor this uh, reverse head and shoulders pattern, and particularly what will happen around 111 area, because 111 will be the bottom of the right shoulder. So you can see here we, could, we, we even could draw the tra the neckline here. So you can see this left shoulder drop, head, right shoulder, and the bottom of the right shoulder should be somewhere around 111. And particularly this level will tell us what action will follow. So if market will drop here, will will hold here and turn up, this will tell us that this bullish scenario is still valid, and that was the short-term reaction on the state on the statement in Wyoming, and uh, market keeps chance to reach the 116. On this way up, market automatically will reach. The 114 target of this pattern, A, B, C bottom, 1618. Because this pattern is, stands with a bigger scale and uh, it will be valid if market will show even 618 retracement right back down. This is how just uh, A, B, C patterns develops. So it, 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 it will be uh, destroyed only if market will drop below it. But if mar market uh, could show any retracement, usually we count on the minor, on the, on the shorter retracement, on smaller retracement. But uh, following the rules of the trading of the extensions, even 618 retracement, deep retracement, will not mean that ABCD pattern has failed. So market will keep at least theoretical chances that it could continue more higher. And uh, if we will turn to the some larger scale, to this hand and shoulders pattern, on the way up of this larger ABCD market, automatically, simultaneously, will hit the 114 uh, target. This will be 1618 extension of this initial ABCD pattern. Uh, that's just how it could, could happen. So if instead market will break this area down, this will tell us that indeed, probably moderate bearish trend starts and it means that investors seriously treat this recent statement from the Federal Reserve as the signal for the moderate term uh, straight uh, strength in the United States dollar. So the, the, it, it will mean that we, they will start to pre prepare for a uh, rate hike in December. In this case, yes, we could return back to the bearish scenario that we have specified previously on the weekly chart and that market could uh, reach our next destination to the downside is 1 or 5. So this upper direction also will not totally uh, destroy this downward direction. So bearish trend that we have on the bearish view that we have on the monthly chart on the euro currency is still valid. So this is just minor pause, pause in, in, in uh, overall downward direction. But for the daily picture, this is not really minor pause. This is really significant action. So, uh, Five points to the upside, six points to the upside. It's a real significant action. Uh, also, guys, as you, as you can see, this will be a very nice support area. So it includes monthly pivot point. It includes FIB levels. So this will be not really shy and weak support. This will be strong support. And the breakout of the support down uh, will be important, will be really important. And it will take real significant importance because a strong level will be broken as uh, more serious in, uh, intentions market has in the direction of the breakout. So that's why the first stage of our training plan the next week is watching what will happen here. So, because this will be the uh, turning point for the euro currency where we will get the answers. On the 4-hour time from chart guys, as you can see downward reversal is taking the shape of some kind of the hand shoulders. So you can see this could be left shoulder, double head and right shoulder. Uh, and that lets us to Estimate the target with more precision. So as you know, usually we'll, we'll use as the ABC1618 extension based on the head and the shoulder. Or classical approach, the distance between the top of the head to the neckline counted down in direction of the breakout. So you can see they stands very close to each other. It's almost the same target level. And it agrees with the 111 area. And also take a look, this will be the weekly pivot support one. It's very interesting because, as you know, on the way down, if weekly pivot support one holds the action, it means that this is just a retracement. 
If market breaks through the weekly period support one, it means that it's not just a retracement, it's new trend. Well, that's why here we will get some very nice support clusters. So let's see what we have. Weekly pivot support one, monthly pivot point, FIB level, and agreement. Because we have the downward target of the extension to the downside. So this will be strong support. That's why if market is really bullish and it should it should not break it down. This market really should stop there and turn to the upside. If it's not bullish, then the breakout will follow. And as we have the really strong level, the breakout of the strong level will just prove the serious intentions of the market, bearish, bearish uh, power of the market. That's why um, this will be a very important moment for us on the coming week. If you're a scalp trader, you also could watch for some minor retracement on the way down until market will not hit the target. So try to take the scalp short position on some minor retracement from this leg until we will reach the target here. But uh, for the daily traders, for our major setup, it's mostly interesting what we, will have, what we will have here and what will happen. Because this will be the answer on um, question about the medium term perspective on the euro currency.